let's just go and create a new project because I wanted to show you some of the things around sprints and task boards, etc. So when I click new, I've got the ability to create a sprints project or a waterfall project. OK, uh, and again, lots of templates around. Let's just go and create a sprints project. OK, so this gives me the option to create some tasks in sprints. This is very kind of planner like in some respect. I've got this big board. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is click on the sprint tools tab and manage my sprints. And I'm going to say, well, the first sprint is going to start from, let's just say next Monday. So that's the 16th. And then uh, I'm just going to add in some other sprints. Uh, notice the days just all work out. So we'll add in some. Sprint three, sprint four, sprint five, sprint six, sprint seven, etc. We could rename them. So I might call that first sprint, which is a daft thing to rename it. And of course, if I had some time off, then we can modify the dates in here. So that's OK. Now we can go and add in some new tasks. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to blame you, Shane, for talking about this beforehand. Uh, I'm fed up of it and so is everybody else. But let's plan for Brexit and let's stick that in the first sprint. OK, and then um, part of that planning for Brexit or the first sprint could be planned for Brexit. We might say go to gov.uk website. Whoa, website. OK, and we can stick that in there. I can double click on this. This is just a standard Microsoft task. So we could add some resources to this. We could say Ben's going to do this and fill. OK, so that's all well and good. And we can move things around to different sprints. Now, within a sprint, tasks, again, can have different categories, if you like, or different statuses. And we, we call that the tasks, task board. OK, so. For my plan for Brexit and gov.uk, both of which are, were you know, part of that initial sprint, then I can say they are next up. Yep. Or they might be in progress or they might be things around within um, different areas, if you like, within a task board. So I've got the idea of sprints and task boards. And of course, if I wanted new columns in the task board, then I could. Uh, so we might just do some testing uh, on here and let's go move that column to the left. Yeah. And we might say, as far as we're concerned, uh, when testing's done, we're 90% complete. So when something's in progress, it's 50% complete. And when it's started, you know, it's 10% complete. So we can get some idea of percentage complete. So what does all of this little lot drive? Well, if I open up one that I'd prepared earlier. So let's just go and have a look at a sprints.mpp file. Here's one which is a little more completed. But the nice thing about this is the reporting. So in the reporting tab, I've got some task boards. So let's just have a look at the task board task status. Again, it's a visual report. We don't have a donut. We've got a pie chart, but we could change that. And I could say we've got 45 percent of our tasks are not started. Twenty two percent are done. These are our remaining tasks in this plan. Here's the as I scroll down to the bottom, uh, the remaining tasks by resource. So in some respects, it's a little planner like um, and I've got that for task boards. But I can also just say, let's have a look at the sprint status. OK, so what have we got uh, in sprint one, sprint two? So tasks per sprint and I ignore work from this perspe perspective. And again, you can you can begin to customize this. This is a little Excel like. So if I click into it, then I get the field list. So it's pivot table Excel like and we can begin uh, to modify those. 